God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like the dead long forgotten. Therefore, my spirit fails, my heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life, and your justice save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, Early in the morning of your resurrection, you made your love known and brought the first light of dawn to those who dwell in darkness. Your death has opened a path for us. Do not enter into judgment with your servants. Let your Holy Spirit guide us together into the land of justice. At daybreak, be, be merciful, merciful to, to me, me, O Lord. Lord. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exult, exult with her, all you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will we'll make, make a, a river, river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O sing to the Lord, give, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warrior strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, our Father, great builder of the heavenly Jerusalem, you know the number of the stars and call each of them by name. Heal hearts that are broken. 
Gather together those who have been scattered and enrich us all from the plentitude of your eternal wisdom. Let us joyfully Joyfully praise praise the Lord our God. We are your people and your inheritance, O Lord. May your eyes be open to the petition of your servant and to the petition of your people, Israel. Hear us whenever we call upon you, because you have set us apart among all the peoples of the earth for your inheritance. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words. And from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. If anyone wishes to be my disciple, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come come to to his his people and set them them free. free. He He has raised raised up for us a mighty Savior, Savior, born of the house of his servant David. David. Through his his holy holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give give his his people people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness forgiveness of their sins. In the tender tender compassion of our God, the dawn dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to the the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as as it was was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. If anyone wishes wishes to be my disciple, he must must deny deny himself, himself, take take up up his his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. God has revealed himself in Christ. Let us praise his goodness and ask him from our hearts. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Teach us to enter more deeply into the mystery of the church. That it may be more effective for ourselves and for the world as the sacrament of salvation. Lover of mankind, inspire us to work for human progress. Seeking to spread your kingdom in all we do. May our hearts thirst for Christ, the fountain of living water. Forgive us our sins. And direct our steps into the ways of justice and sincerity. For these things and the others we hold in our heart, we now pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on earth earth as it is in heaven. Give us us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you, and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.